and welcome to Biz Dev Weekly, the business development show. I'm Kristen Kloss with Chris Hamilton in studio. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, we're going to talk today about an amazing tool that you can use to find out exactly what people are saying about you online. And it's a local reputation report card. And essentially, it's a chance for you to kind of get a snapshot of what are some of the negative reviews that may be written about you or your company. And it's a very simple simple process. Uh, Chris, uh, you've used it before. What do you think? I have. I think it's a great little tool. I mean, it's... Uh uh, something that really gives you it's a quick snapshot to tell you exactly um, how you appear to other people online and I mean if you have a bad reputation online it kills your business mm, and it's, you know, uh, it's brutal it is and and you know you can be proactive about it you can actually change that and make it a very uh, you know positive um, uh, report very quickly for people to take a look at and you know uh, realistically um, a lot of people don't manage this process and they don't realize that they actually do have to manage this process on a regular basis. So Kirsten, back to you. You can talk to people about how they can figure this out. Yeah, it's really simple. There's a short video that explains the power of the process. Uh, and all you do is you put your name in it. I put mine in here. Uh, you put your, uh, your email address. And you put your phone number. So I just entered that information. Now you also have to put the country in there, and there's certain countries. Uh, it, it, uh, we uh, our show is uh, aired in Canada here, so it's uh, it, this particular one sets up for Canada. But you can put UK, US, Australia, Ireland, or New Zealand. In my case here, I'm going to put Canada, and you just click here to generate that report. It takes a few seconds for it to actually generate and go out and hit all these sites and bring. So it's the going to hit dozens in. of online review sites, and it's going to find out what people are saying about you and about your company. Now I'm doing it for my own and I found out pretty much I have zero bad reviews. It also tells me whether or not I've actually claimed the listings on the different uh, sites. In my case, I don't have Bing and I don't have Yelp and Hotfrog. Now these are US accounts and I'm in Canada, so I can't necessarily make that happen. But essentially that's it. Now, if you have any negative reviews about your company or about you, um, it will show up here and it will give you the bad reviews down below here. Now in my case, of course, I don't have any bad reviews. Uh, I've got a lot of positive ones through some tools that I've put in place. But on the right here, if you want advice, some free advice on how to uh, improve your reputation or how to actually, more importantly, market your good reviews, uh, just enter your name and your email address on the right, and then you can watch up to a half an hour of free consultation on ways in which you can improve things. Chris? Well, Kirsten, I think you've nailed it there. We're not going to show anyone's bad reviews because we don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. But, um, you know, it is something that is... It is so important to manage this sort of stuff right now because I'll tell you what, if you go to Google, Google is putting a heavy emphasis on local, local search results right now. If you put your uh, product or service offering in with your local uh, area that you are in, um, you know, first of all, you want to see if you're in the top results. And if you are in the top results, you want to see, do I have positive reviews? Do I have bad reviews? If you have a bad review, that is a killer. You mm -hmm. got to jump on it quickly. If you have no reviews, you got to jump on that and try to fix that as quick as possible and get more positive reviews. Because yeah. the more positive reviews you have, word of mouth, I mean, people, 70% of people trust online reviews. Uh, what people have to say, strangers, they trust strangers in this, in this setting. So, I mean, it's something that you have to pay attention to. Absolutely. And if you have no reviews and you think, you know what, my, my clients don't like leaving reviews and I don't I don't want to bother them with reviews uh, or they're not the type of clients that I want to necessarily showcase as having reviews, um, you know, that's going to be dangerous because if you're in, let's say, an elite business um, that maybe is a premium price and what's going to happen is anybody applies the snob nose to your product because they can't afford it, they're going to blast you as a negative review and then you've got the negative reviews up there. So you be proactive and have positive reviews up there. Anyways, that's the tool. It's free. It's on newlucid.com. Click on the link here in the video and you can try this out for yourself. Thanks for joining us, Chris. Thanks for having me, Kirsten. And thank you all for watching once again uh, to BizDev Weekly, the business development show. Cheers.